So, how long do you think we'll be here? I'm not talking to you. You know what? We are so screwed! Thought you weren't talking to me. You two, come with me. Report to Waste Management. Hi there, I'm B127. I'm actually working on some nicknames. The, the one I'm floating right now is um, Badassatron, which is actually pronounced Badassatron. Um, we're gonna call you B. Keegan, it's been a second. How you been? It's been a second. I know. It's good to see you. It's great oh, to see I'm you. Well, I'm doing well, man. How are you? I, you know, I, I was excited about this interview. First, I, I loved the movie. I, you know, I, I'll be going. I go into these movies not knowing what I'm about to watch. I didn't even know I was about to just watch animation. I, I didn't know what it was like. Transformers, I'm down. Yeah. And then to see like the origin story, if, if, and like, wow, this is great. I, I really loved the movie. Let me just start there. But then I started thinking, like, okay, now what do I really want to talk to Keegan Michael about? And I was like, it's your timing. And I want to know, like, how do you work on that? Because I know, like, there's a lot of great uh, comedians, there's a lot of great stand up comedians, but to be a comedic actor of your, your ilk, and I, I put you on that Mount Rushmore of them, like, how, how did you develop that timing? How do you perfect it? How, do you work on it? Or is this just like, natural LeBron James type of jumping ability or something. <laughs> no, I think, I, I mean, I work on it. There, there, there may be something natural about it, but I actually, I don't even know that I, that I can speak to that so much. Really, I, I, re I relied so much on the director. Because you're not with the other actors, um, very often when I was recording, Josh Cooley, the director, he was sitting right next to me, like three feet, five feet away from me. And what would happen sometimes, I'm like, so Josh, read the lines with me a couple of times, and uh, they can record it if they want. I just need to do it three or four times, then five or six times. So every take for me, you know, sometimes we'd get it in three, we'd be in a rhythm. Other times there'd be longer passages and I'd say, or there'd be shorter passages. And I'm like, can I just go straight through as opposed to just doing this short one and this short one? Can I do like six of these lines in a row? And then you and I get a banter going. Cause I think that banter helps him in the editing. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. and that's where I try to develop the timing is instead of just doing small little one line bits, let me just run all this dialogue together and do a whole bunch of them so we get a rhythm. Yeah, let's go. She, she's joining us. <laughs> Fantastic. Hi there, uh, Alita. Right? Am I saying that right? Wanted to formally introduce myself. Uh, I'm B127. You need me in the face earlier back there. Uh, you, you can call me B or. Badassatron. It's a nickname some of the guys gave me. I don't know. I, I didn't give it to myself or anything. It's just, actually, it's pronounced Badassatron. In case you were wondering. Badassatron. You like that, right? Badass. I'm going to need you to talk less. And, and I already said I put you on my Mount Rushmore. I'm curious as to you, when you take out the people that were comedians and you look at the people like, you know, Lucille Ball and all of them. Who are you like your top comedic actors that you that you look to and say like these people really set the 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 bar for what comedic acting is? I am I am a very big fan of Peter Sellers, who was the Pink Panther. Peter Sellers yeah. is one of my big ones. The Marx Brothers, um, mm. all of the the kind of the big three. Speaking of Mount Rushmore, the big three silent masters. So Buster Keaton, Harold Lloyd, and Charlie Chaplin. I'm also a big yeah. fan of Fatty Arbuckle. I mean, I like that there's a lot of silent stars that I really enjoyed. And then um, the, other, the other person is, I know people think of him as a comedian, but Richard Pryor, I know, we, you know he was an actor and a comedian, but I think he is definitely, he's definitely, him and Peter Sellers, 100% on my Mount Rushmore, because there is a quality about Richard Pryor that even when he was doing his stand-up routines, he was playing characters and acting out their lives on stage. He, he yeah. was he was second to none. Amazing. Yeah, you've done Toy Story, Lion King. Uh, you're doing Transformers. Do you have a, a favorite voice out of all of these? And, and after we play this, I, I've done a Transformers audition as I've been proud. I'm play it for the audience. I think I did okay, but you was definitely great. Y'all was all great. You and Chris. But do you have a, a who are you like some of your favorite voices that you've done in animation uh, as a as a character? I think one of my favorite voices is uh, really is Toad. When I just did Toad in Super Mario Brothers, yeah. so much fun. Be and also me and the director and the writer working on developing the voice. 
was a lot of fun for me. That, that, that one, because it took a little extra time for us to get it. And sometimes, you know, when it takes a little extra effort, you, you savor it more. And so that one was, and, and it was also a challenge to do. So I, I, was, I was so happy with how that came out. And people would, people would be like, you know what I like? I, li I like that Toad character. In the, did you see the Super Mario Brothers movie? And I go, yeah, yeah, I saw it. And they're like, I like that Toad character. If you don't know that I played that character, that's the greatest compliment you can give me, is that you didn't know that it was me. That's great. Well, well you are my Rush boy, man. You and Robin Williams and, and Lucille Ball. That's, oh, my God, that's, Robin that's me. Williams. Oh. You, you, you're right there. So thanks for all the stuff you do. I really, really enjoyed this movie. I think people are going to love Transformers 1. And uh, I can't wait. Shout outs to Second City and Mad TV and Key Appeal and all those things that you did before, man. I, I can't wait to see what you got coming next down the line. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it, you. That was awesome. Thank you, man. I'm going to voice Optimus Prime. That's my character. I'm in love with him, so I'm going to do Optimus Prime. All right, let me give you a look here. I am Optimus Prime. To save Earth, we must go to Cybertron and destroy Quintessa. Every character has a different approach. Optimus Prime, who is a hero, was a, quite a challenge. I am Optimus Prime. To save Earth, we must go to Cybertron and destroy Quintessa. I'll play it back here. I'll put a little spice on it. I am Optimus Prime. To save Earth, we must go to Cybertron and destroy Quintessa. I got that in one take. Their purpose for something's coming. Something we've never seen before. What intrigued me was the origin story. And to be voicing Optimus Prime, this is another level. He begins as Orion Pax, as a worker in the mines. This is his journey to becoming the all-powerful, all-knowing Optimus Prime. The pantheon that is Transformers. We want to see where they started. Sounds incredible. We want to see what Cybertron looked like. It's beautiful. And how D16 became one of the greatest arch nemesis of all time. It really is about a friendship where the two of them become enemies. <laughs> this film has an incredible cast. <laughs> There's Scarlett Johansson as Alita. It does have a nice ring to it. Scarlet brings Scarlet to the role. She is strong and she's tough. With Brian Tyree Henry is D16. Yes! We get to see the absolute beginning of Optimus and Megatron. If we survive this, I'm gonna kill you! I accept those terms. The fact that they were actually best friends. What? Egan Michael Key plays B. Yes! Also known as Badassatron. Over the last few movies, he's almost like a silent movie star. Oh, thank you. But now we get to imbue him through his voice. Ah, ah, I need wheels! Lawrence Fishburne plays Alpha Trion. I see strength in you. John Hamm is Sentinel Prime. I think we all deserve a little fun. Steve Buscemi is Starscream. Look, look, that Starscream? Silence! You get to see all these characters be elevated in a completely different way than we've seen them before. Which was a lot of fun. <laughs> Holy Primus. <laughs> that was awesome!